It's the 1940s, and the Second World War is in full swing. After the word gets out that the Germans are using an advanced calculation machine, the United States Navy commissions the creation of a competitive technology to get a much-needed edge. Harvard and IBM rise to the occasion. Led by Dr. Howard Aiken, the team designs one of the first computers, the IBM Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator. In 1944, a brilliant mathematician joins the project to keep this 55-foot-long machine running to perform accurate ballistic calculations indefinitely. After phenomenal success with the ASCC, also called the Mark I, this mathematician continues to work with later iterations of the machine and goes on to create the very first compiler, coin the term debugging, and shape the field of programming to value the importance of machine-independent programming languages. In this video, we talk about Grace Hopper, one of the most critical figures in programming history. My name's Liv, let's talk about her. Grace Brewster Murray was born in 1906 to Walter Fletcher Murray and Mary Campbell Van Horn. As she grew up, she fell in love with mathematics and physics. Throughout her youth, she was notably curious and often took apart her parents' machines to see how they worked. For the young Grace Murray, attending college and learning was always a necessity. She began her college education with bachelor's degrees in mathematics and physics, later pursuing a master's program in mathematics. Grace Hopper, who took on her husband's last name in 1930, continued her education until she received a PhD in mathematics, which made her one of the first women to ever obtain this degree. Higher education at the time was slowly becoming more accessible to women. When she graduated in 1934, women were still a small minority in colleges across the country. For nine years after obtaining a doctorate, Hopper taught mathematics at Vassar College in New York and was eventually promoted to associate professor. But as fate would have it, the Second World War began, and Hopper passionately sought to aid her country and was confident that her expertise could help. In 1943, Hopper joined the Navy to help the United States fight in World War II. In the Navy, Hopper was assigned to a team that was tasked with creating and maintaining the ASCC. This computer, which was 55 feet long, eight feet tall, and took up an entire room, was used to calculate complex math problems. For the next two years, until the war ended, the ASCC was used to help the Navy aim bombs and artillery. After the war, Hopper continued her research and went on to help create the Mark II and Mark III computers. The Mark II computer performed similarly to the Mark I, but was made much more efficiently. With improved components, the Mark II was much lighter and almost three times as fast. The Mark III was even quicker and lighter than the first two. At its time, it was considered the fastest electronic computer in the world. Grace Hopper loved to tell the story of the first computer bug. While running tests, the Mark II was producing absurd results, and after much troubleshooting, the team couldn't figure out why. The whole team set about the long and arduous task of running tests, checking circuits, and tracking down the problem. Eventually, the problem was traced to a moth that had decided to make a home in one of the many thousands of relays. Team members were so amused at finding an actual moth in the machine that they taped it into the error logbook. From then on, the terms debugging and bugs stuck, eventually becoming widely used in the coding field to denote fixing errors and the errors themselves. In the 1950s, Hopper joined the private sector due to her intense passion for computing technologies. She went on to develop the very first compiler and also the very first all-electronic computer, called the UNIVAC. The compiler, which is a computer program that converts a language into machine code, is one of the most important innovations to computer science in the last hundred years. It allowed programmers to create languages like C instead of having to directly interface with and manipulate a computer's hardware. In her later years, she was called back to active duty in the Navy and was eventually promoted to Rear Admiral, the highest naval rank awarded during times of peace. She received the Defense Distinguished Service Medal, the Computer Science Man of the Year Award, the National Medal of Technology, and many more. After she retired, Hopper spent the rest of her days teaching and inspiring the next generation of programmers until she passed away in 1992. She delighted in teaching and even remarked that it was one of her favorite parts of her life. In 2016, Hopper was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Even after her death, Hopper continues to be held in high reverence in this field and continues to receive high honors as her influence successfully shaped computer technologies into what we know today. 
And beyond that, she helped make programming accessible to all of us via her advocation for programming education and the creation of standardized languages. Hopper passionately and sometimes stubbornly paved the way for women in computer science. A headstrong woman intent on satisfying her own curiosity, she was the creator of the quote, it's easier to apologize than to ask for permission. Not just did her compiler make coding more accessible to the masses, her tenacity and grit made the computer science field more accessible to the brilliant women of the 20th century. Even today, she continues to inspire women to persevere despite the inequities of the field. To quote Grace Hopper, I am now going to make you a gift that will stay with you for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, every time you say, we've always done it that way, my ghost will appear and haunt you for 24 hours. In this video, we discussed Grace Hopper's life and the vital influence that she had on the computer science field. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I'm Liv with Mastery Coding, a company that takes great pride in learning and teaching about the talented women that made technology what it is today. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in our description. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.